Hi. In some cases, you want to load your pictures from an external service, an external website or a content delivery network, CDN as they call it. So how can you go, uh, how can you do that in PDF Butler? I have here an opportunity and the opportunity has a bunch of products. And some of these products, they actually have pictures linked or you want to show the pictures of those products in your quotes. So the products are here and as you can see, they have the pictures in the uh, in a field called picture URL. This can be a formula field, or in this case, it's just a text field, but it actually links to the uh, CDNs where my pictures are. You can see these pictures here. These are optimized, very small pictures, but still great quality. So yeah, for the performance and for the size of your documents, make sure that these are optimized and actually are very uh, small. We optimize our picture always via a service called tinypng.com. Works great, keeps the uh, quality of the picture and optimizes, uh, makes it a lot smaller. Okay, so I have my products, I have my pictures linked. Now, of course, I want to have these pictures in my uh, in my quotes. So click the button here. You will see the result. It will have uh, fetched all the pictures from the uh, from the websites and all of my products to put on my quotes. So I have my pictures here. I have my products here. And as you can see, the pictures are pretty good. They are very, uh, very high in resolution, but still my document will be very small because it, they are optimized. So how did I do that? I started off, of course, with me creating a uh, doc config. In this doc config, I have added two data sources. The opportunity lines data source. So this selects all of the opportunity lines that I want to do, uh, that I want to take. And of course, I have the uh, product to ID here because that's the uh, uh, link that I want to use to know which picture to load with which uh, product. Then this has a child data source. So, and this child data source is actually of type picture list. The parent is the opportunity lines data source that I just saw. The parent query field. So this is the field that uh, uh, in the parent links to the uh, to the ID of the uh, um, of the picture. So it's going to be product two ID. And I have an image name, but this is going to be uh, not applicable. So I just fill in a name here. It doesn't really matter. Make sure it doesn't select any data. Again, if it will select data, it will impact your performance. So this one doesn't select any data, but still I have my data source. And now we are going to fill this data source before we send the data uh, off to PDF Butter to generate your quote. So how we do about that? We create some code. We have actually an, uh, from our core package, an abstract before with data source actionable. And if you uh, extend this one, implement this one, you have all of the power to uh, change your data sources after they have, they have been retrieved from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, Salesforce data and before they uh, are used by PDF Butter Core Services. So this is the right place to put to add our picture data source. I select my opportunity lines. As you can see, I am so smart to not select the opportunity lines that don't have a picture. So that's great. I create a list wrapper. This is also part of the Cadmus core. So this is how uh, um, uh, PDF Butter organizes his, uh, uh, his, his data. So via this list wrapper. So I create this list wrapper and I say that the list wrapper uh, data object, uh, that's the one I'm going to use to fill in my, uh, my image data. I'm going to use some HTTP calls. Yeah? So uh, for getting our picture from the CDN. So uh, yeah, let's loop through the opportunity lines. And for every picture, we are going to get the picture uh, data source and we're going to retrieve it in a base 64 format. This base 64 format, we're going to put like this into our data source. So we're going to create a new record uh, from uh, the type st uh, map string string and we're going to fill in our information. As you saw in the uh, data source picture data source earlier, the link between the pictures and the uh, um, opportunity line items, opportunity products is the opportunity product to ID. So 
this is what I'm going to take as a parent ID, our base64, hola, and that's not the, what I wanted to do, a base64, and the uh, uh, name is going to be the product name. So this is how a picture data source is structured. Uh, just reuse it, take over as is. When that is done, we're going to, of course, not forget to add our uh, data source to our uh, uh, list of objects or maps uh, that we are going to send to PDF Butter. And of course, we now have to update our map of data sources. Uh, that's also part of the PDF Butter core, our map of data sources with our new pictures. This has and I've just hard coded it for demo demo reasons. If you wanna if you wanna um, um, select it or query it, uh, that's more dynamic. You can perfectly do that. But for demo reasons, I hard coded it because this ID is actually the same ID for the data source on all environments. If you move it from test uh, to to UAT, uh, back to dev to prod it will always have this same unique identifier. How did I get this identifier? It's a field on my data source. So if I go to my data source here and I just use the Salesforce inspector, inspector show all data, you will see that this field here, that's the value I'm taking. So this value from this field, I'm going to fill in here to make sure that it's added to the map. Okay, this is actually everything that I needed to do. All of the code that I require to get my pictures from my CDN, from my content delivery networks, and put them in my uh, data source as, uh, before sending it off to a PDF Butler. Okay, uh, one last step to go. We have to now tell the system that before we run this uh, doc config, create the, our document, we actually need to run this class. So how we do that, um, we go to our doc config and you see here that I have the actionable uh, related list added. If it's not there, the actionable related list, you can just go to the page layout and add it, of course. So that's not uh, that's, uh, that's something everybody can do. So just add the actionable related list and create a new actionable. The new actionable is going to be of type run class yeah, because we have created our own class. So let's take a look at the actionable. And the, all the rest is very easy. So we have our class yeah, uh, that we are going to run. Uh, make sure the class is global, very important. Huh? Make sure it's global, uh, a very uh, common mistake when uh, using the actionable framework. Uh, we're going to indicate that it's before but after data sources. If this uh, value, pick list value, is not present, you just add it. That's not a problem. Yeah? Uh, maybe you have an older version, uh, version of uh, PDF Butter. Uh, maybe it's not there out of the box. Very possible because this is not. Uh, this is really very complex stuff, and we want to only bring that to uh, uh, top users. So just add this uh, um, um, this pick list value so the system can know about it. Make sure it's active. Also a very common mistake that people don't put it active. So make sure it's active and that's it. That's all. Now our actionable is linked to our doc config. Means that before I run this doc config, the, uh, uh, the class will run and the class will actually update, uh, as you can see here, our data source with our pictures. Result, you've just seen it. I click the button. It gets all of the data required, it gets all of the pictures required, and it generates the document. And this is the result. Every picture linked to the opportunity line item to which it belongs. And the ones that do not have a picture linked, of course, they just remain empty and the placeholder is not there. Uh, one last thing that I might need to show. What is the, uh, the template document that I've used? Very simple one. So just one table, our header, and we have one row that we are uh, copying. This row has a picture placeholder, yeah? so you can just uh, use this uh, picture uh, stuff here. That's uh, uh, when you select this uh, screen. Uh, you can just put a picture name here. Uh, it has two simple um, uh, merge fields, PDF Butler merge fields that you can use, and we're just gonna repeat this row. So our uh, config, how does it look? Very easy. Let's open it.
it will lead, it will add our data sources as seen here and it will just say one table row to repeat all of the rows that we have in our opportunity lines and for every row add the picture if the picture is not there of course it will remove it automatically add the product name add the product price and that's it that's our doc config so this is how you add a picture uh, from an external service into your documents. If you want to read more about these uh, picture data source types, of course, you can read up on our uh, academy. All of the information is there. The placeholder that I use in my, uh, in my documents, you can use any picture, of course, but if you want to use this placeholder, the placeholder is also here. Some extra information on how to optimize your picture for size uh, is there. So lots of information available directly on our academy. Okay, good luck. If you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to send a mail to support at pdfbutler.com.